Hello everyone, in my next video, okay, the next video, uh, we are going to be actually looking at uh, condition statements in JavaScript. Now, if you don't know what condition statements is, don't worry, because I will go through it in details in my next video. However, in order to learn about condition statements, we need to actually learn about another type of operators first. And in this video, we are going to be looking at comparison operators. Now, comparison operators is really easy. It's basically just comparing what's on the left and what's on the right. Now, if I just delete this, now that we have this statement z equals x plus y. Now, this is an assignment operator, so the value of z is going to be equals uh, the value of x plus the value of y. However, comparison operators isn't assigning values. It's about comparing the values that are already uh, put in into the variable. So, uh, for example, let's say, uh, ignoring all the vars and stuff, let's just say x equals 5. And let's have, actually, let's put all in the comment, and y equals a 10. Okay, so we have this x equals 5 and y equals 10. I'll just put everything in the comments so that I don't mess anything up. Uh, there we go. Yep, so we have x equals 5 and y equals 10. And now, let's look at this uh, x equals y thing. Now, when we say x equals y, the x value is going to be equals the y value. So x is going to be equals 10, because this is an assignment operator. But comparison operators is used to compare stuff and one of them is double equals and now this means that x is equal to y okay x is equals to y so if x equals 5 and y equals 10 the re the result of this statement is a false if x was equals to uh, 5 plus 5 and y was equals to 10 because 5 plus 5 is equals to 10 x is now equal to y so this returns or the result is true so this is the equals to operator the next thing is is exactly equal to which is this three or triple equal sign what this does is when we looked at this equals to because 5 plus 5 equals 10 and both are numbers that returns a tree however if we use this x equals 10 which is a string and y equals 10 which is a number because the values are still the same this x equals y is going to be true however this triple equal sign means is exactly equal to and that is that looks at both the value and the type. Now x and y has both have a value of 10. However, x has a type or a variable, uh, a data type of string and a y has a data type of number. So in this case, x is exactly equal to y is going to be false. Okay, so we had uh, equals to which is is equal to we had is exactly equal to and the third thing we're going to be look at is this right here there x uh what's this punctuation no, uh explanation mark equals y now what this is is x isn't equals to does not equal to is not equal to y and because x equals 5 and y equals 10, in this case, it's true. So this exclamation equal is is not equal to. Now, the next thing we're going to learn is uh, this is exactly not equal to. Now, if uh, x was uh, a number 5 and y was an Num uh, a string 5, this x does not equal to y becomes false because this only falls because this only looks at the 
what do you call it, the value. And because 5 equals 5, that is equal to 5. False. However, x, uh, x exclamation equal equal is exactly not equals to, which is basically this, but is on the not side. So because the two types are different, this is a number and this is a string, this is going to be equals to true. So this is exactly not equal equal to. Okay, now the next thing is let's change this to 10. Actually, all the other one is really simple math stuff. Now this one we have is greater than. That's we use this in mass and at the same time this is is less than. So if x is greater than y is going to be false. However, x is less than y is going to be true. Now we have this uh, greater than equals is is greater than or e equal to. And this is is uh, less than or equal to. There we go. So we have this. Uh, so x is less than or equal to y. That is true. However, this x is greater than or equal to y is false, obviously, because x equals 5 and y equals 10. So these are all the comparison operators that we are going to be using uh, for our condition statements in our next video and in the next about two, three, four videos because there's about, yeah, about that much uh, different types of comparison uh, statements. Oh, no, condition statement, sorry. What condition statement is a look at two statements, so they say uh, we have like x equals 5 and y equals 10, and they say if x equals y, do this, and so on. Okay, so if x equals uh, 10, do that, or if y equals 10, do this, and so on. So they look at a condition, and depending on that uh, condition, the outcome or the uh, the return value changes. Okay, so that was a quick video on all the comparison operators. Is equal to, is exactly equal to, is not equal to, all the way down to, is less than or equal to. These four are what you learn in your uh, basic mass. And these are all the ones you learn here, if you haven't learned it already. It's basically computer uh, is equal to stuff. Okay? Hopefully these were not all new to you, maybe this was, maybe this was, yeah, maybe these four were, hopefully the last four wasn't uh, new to you, even if it was, it's really simple, it's just com looking at two numbers and saying is 5 bigger than 3, and if it's yes, it returns a true, simple. Uh, in my next video, we are going to be start looking. We are going to start looking at condition statements, which is one of my uh, favorite stuff in JavaScript. It is so fun to use, and it's really, really uh, useful. And if you know condition statements in one language, because in most languages, like scripting language and programming language, there is going to be some sort of condition statements. Uh, if you learn condition statements in one, lang one language, you'll get the condition statements in another language in like 10 seconds just by just because the signs and how you write it is slightly different. So yeah, it's really useful and fun to learn. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.